Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Bearded Dev and we're going to be doing a new type of video. This is SSIS Quick Tips and in this video we're going to be looking at data viewers. If you do like the video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and because this is the first in the series of SSIS Quick Tips, please comment down below if you want to see more. So these are going to be quick fire videos when I just give you quick tips on working in integration services. So let's dive into it. So I'm in data tools now. Uh, I've opened a derived column package that I created in some of my previous videos. If you haven't checked those videos out, do go back and do so. So all this is doing is bringing data in from a source it's changing uh, it's creating a new column full name by concatenating the first name and surname and calculating an age based on the date of birth now this is quite a simple package but within integration services our packages can get quite complex and we have the disadvantage that we can't actually see the data flowing through the pipeline so one way we are able to see the data is by looking at data viewers and how we do that is we just right click on the connection and click on enable data viewer now once I run this uh, in debug mode we can see we've got a data viewer opened up that will show us the data that is flowing through this pipeline now I've got quite a large of rows here so within this buffer there's just short of 10,000 rows uh, in fact I'm bringing in in the region of 2 million rows within this so I've got a couple of options here. I can click the play button and if I do that it will move on to the data in the next buffer. So rows displayed here again 10,000 total rows down in the left hand corner approaching 20,000 and I can keep doing that to see my data. I can click detach which will stop the stop the data from being loaded into the data viewer and will continue the package as normal or I've also got the option to copy the data to the clipboard and in this case being nearly two million rows I don't think I'm going to do that so if I click detach this package will continue as normal and also if I close the data viewer it will continue as normal so if I just click detach this will leave the data viewer open but it won't be reloading data into the data viewer it will skip over that step pass the data to the derived column and into the destination so I'm just going to click detach on that and as you can see the data is flowing through there nicely if I click close it will continue to flow through but it will leave the data viewer as part of the package so data viewers are very helpful if you're working with quite complex packages and want to see the state of the data at that time, particularly if you're not loading the data straight into staging tables. So if you're loading the data from source, doing a transformation and then going into a staging table, then loading the data from the staging table, doing another transformation, then it's going to the destination. Obviously you have those staging tables there to look at the, the, the data in different states. But if you're doing a lot of transformations within the same package without writing that data to any sources, then data viewers are ideal. Really hope you have enjoyed that video. Like I said, this is something new I'm trying, so any comments will be much appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click that notification button to be made aware of new, when new videos are uploaded. Thanks a lot for watching.